Hey, welcome back to my channel. Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the resources that I will be using during our family school time. So I have several resources and lots of things that we're doing during family school. And there's another video that shares all of that, as well as what family school is and how that like scheduling all came together for this school year. But some of those resources I want to give their own individual videos to in the event that it's something you want a little deeper dive into um, so that you can see if it's something you want to use for your family. So this is a resource that was actually sent to me by one of my subscribers, Natalie. Um, and I'm so appreciative because it really is such a valuable resource that can help you be able to kind of maneuver teaching mental health and emotions and feelings and communication skills to your kids. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, this is the curriculum. It is like an actual um, printable book or printed book. It's a material that she will send to you when you order it, which I appreciated because there are a lot of phenomenal downloadable resources that you can find, but I love when I can get the whole curriculum um, in a book. So again, she calls it a biblical worldview on mental health for children. So let's talk about it. Okay, so as I mentioned, this was a resource that was sent to me from one of my subscribers, Natalie, and this was compiled over her 10 plus years in experience in the mental health field, um, using all kinds of resources and colleagues and all of the scientifically based understanding of mental health and putting it together in a way that we mamas that don't have any of that experience um, can then use with our kids. So it's really thick as you can see, but inside she has included activity pages as well as um, like word for word directives um, that you can use. And she does that in like purple. She like does it all, it's all color, obviously. Do you guys know Kaylin at all? Like if it's a color book, I'm already mostly sold. Okay, so you can kind of see on this page here, the text, it's hard to read, but the text here is in purple. And that's kind of the indication that it's something that the parent is going to say. So let me just kind of show you really quick what the overview is, and then I'll show you how she built out this curriculum and why I'm excited to use it and why I think it's going to be a huge asset for us this school year, how I'm going to use it, all that good stuff. So um, she has her table of contents here. The first through ninth chapter, so the first nine chapters are emotions, and she begins by teaching you to talk to your child about how would you define emotion? What is an emotion? And if you have ever seen like a behavioral psychologist or behavioral teachers in the school system, um, I have a sister-in-law, a sister-in-law's sister-in-law, anyway, a member of our family um, who actually does that in the public school and she teaches those emotions. And a lot of times they talk about how the beginning understanding of emotions are very generic. I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm happy. But when we can unpeel those layers, we can actually get to the root. And that's what this book is going to help you be able to walk through and manage with your child. So she talks about introduction to emotions, and then she goes through several emotions, anger, anxiety, relaxation, sadness, happiness, peace, gratitude, self, oh, self-esteem and self-care, which technically aren't emotions, but those are there, and then love. Okay, starting in chapter 10, you're going to get social and communication skills. So she talks about conflict, boundaries, forgiveness, having a support system, habits and goals, automatic thoughts, and then the last little bit is going to be problem solving and coping skills. How can we improve our mental health and real life, learning from real life situations? Okay, so it's a very comprehensive book. It has 20 chapters. So if you walk through a chapter a week, I, that might be a little bit fast for us. We're probably going to do one chapter every two weeks or so because I'm planning on using this one day per week as a part of our loop because we're doing looping this year. Spoiler alert, looping is coming down at the morel front. Okay, um, again, we have that purple thing. And then, so this is the introduction. She's going to talk about what emotions are. And I'm actually going to copy these for my kids because I only got one copy. May I recommend that you may want to get one book for each of your kids that you're going to walk through this curriculum with to save yourself at the copy machine because you're going to want to have these exercise pages to work through with your students. Now, if you have several students and maybe you don't want to invest in that many books, then you can go ahead and copy them. But um, 
that's up to you. So, okay, so we have just your general moods. Again, these are activity pages that she puts in here so that you can walk through activities. She has cute little illustrations that are very um, elementary, so that's nice. Oh, and these are, um, it's an emotions guessing game. So this is a game that you play. Pick an emotion card and you have one minute to have your partner guess what you are feeling by acting out what that emotion feels like. Um, she's got a little emotion wheel, a Junto wheel. Draw a line between the two words that describe the same emotion. Now we're still talking about emotions, lots of activities um, to help us practice what emotions are and how we can manage them, okay? So let's move into, here's chapter two. So we're gonna talk about anger. Again, here's this purple section. This is the um, Dear Parent Care, Parent Caregiver. I feel like I'm tripping over my words. Um, and it's gonna explain how you're going to present this chapter to your kids, okay? Um, it also has a journal exercise at the bottom. I've just noticed this red little section. It's a journal exercise for the parent or caregiver. What were you taught about anger? How did your parents express anger? What would you like to do differently? So it has an awesome little activity that we as the parent or caregiver can do to introduce this subject both for ourselves as well as we move it into our kids, okay? Again, this is a nice visual. Maybe you wanna put it up if you have like a bulletin board or something like a unit board that you're doing. That's kind of a nice thing. Um, and then just lots of stuff. You just read it with your kids and talk about it. Here's some journaling. So anyway, it's just so, so well put together. Here we're talking about happiness. She also includes um, scripture. So here we have Psalms on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she has Psalms on the bottom and a Proverbs, happy is the person who finds wisdom. And then she has an example of someone who was seven who drew something that makes her happy, which was that activity. Draw a memory that makes you happy. So, oh, look at how darling this page is. Look at just, look at the artwork. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's, the book is so, so, so well done. I would highly encourage you to integrate some kind of mental health teaching in your classroom with your kids. Something that I do really heavily in my coaching when I coach my clients is mental health and just the importance of taking care of our mind and what we say to ourselves, letting our feelings be felt and knowing how to manage those feelings. And so to be able to our, equip our children with that in their youth is so powerful. So this is an excellent resource. If you don't have anything and you're kind of lost in that world and you don't know what to do, this is an excellent resource put together by Natalie, one of my subscribers. So check the description box below. I've put her website there so you can dig a little deeper if you'd like to. Um, and then of course you can order them from her there as well. This is again, a biblical worldview on mental health for children by Natalie. I'm not even gonna say her last name right, but it's, is it Duho, Duhon? I'm so sorry, Natalie, but there you go. Okay, so hopefully ask me questions if you have them, the description box below. Um, and then also check out my other videos if you wanna know what we're doing for the whole family school season um, for this coming up school year. Mm -hmm.